Hi, and thanks for joining me for this very special webisode that looks at some unusual tiny pocket cameras. Now we all know as technology improves, everything seems to shrink in size and cameras are no different. Naturally, larger cameras have more features and more manual controls, that goes without saying. However, if you're like me and you can't resist a good quality gadget, a new gadget, then these toy cameras are just too much fun to resist. This one is called a Fuvi B. Now it's a toy camera, and believe it or not, I found it in a vending machine of all places. It's a very low-fire camera designed to simulate those warm, dusty tones of the old 1970s home movies. It does it really well, and it captures it in 640 by 480 resolution. Sound quality, mm, it is a bit ordinary. It's got a very small microphone, however, the pictures are just so dreamy and cute, you won't be able to resist using it. You're gonna to need to pop a micro SD card inside to record onto, and via the USB cable, you can charge it up fully. You're gonna get at least 100 minutes of recording time before it's gonna run out of juice. Think you can't get smaller? These are some tiny spy cameras I found on eBay, and yes, they record video. Very cheap, very portable, and they record video at a respectable resolution of 1280 by 960 on a micro SD cards as well. Now you don't have a preview screen on the back of these tiny little cameras, so whatever you shoot, it's a bit of potluck, but that's half the fun of it. Okay, if you love nano blocks, I've even got a camera for you. Check this out. Now this one's made by the same people that made the Fuvi B. You can just build on it, kids love it. It's got a USB, just plugs straight in your computer. My absolute pick of the bunch, however, of the tiny cameras, we're gonna go up a little bit bigger in size for a tiny camera, but we're going up so much more in quality. It's the newly released Nikon S01. These things are absolutely incredible. 10.1 megapixel stills, 720p video, 96 grams in weight, it's all metal, it's really sturdy, it's no bigger than a business card, it just fits in your pocket or your hand, super easy. Fortunately, it's also got a three times optical zoom on it, which helps get you in closer to the picture you're filming. It's got a lot of special filters and effects that you can apply to the vision, either while shooting or afterwards. Plus, you've got this two and a half inch screen on the back. That preview screen is pretty important when you're trying to look at your work, and it's something we were missing on the other cameras we were looking at. All right, before I go, here's a pocket film to check out this week. It's one I actually shot in 2010 on my trusty iPhone. It's called Design Crimes, it's a heap of fun. Um, I even make a cameo in it apparently, this crazy tall hair. Watch out. See you next time. Bye-bye.